Well, Langkawi Sky Cab Amusement Park, July 2020. This is the entrance of the Sky Cab. And if you um, pause the video, you can read the map. It tells you the different attractions, etc. So the Sky Cab Amusement Park only just opened up again. Malaysia was still in lockdown. And as you leave the car park and head towards the gate to pay, you get to check out all the lolly stands and drink stands and rest area. And as you can see, there's hardly any people around. As you can see, there's hardly any people around and we weren't interfered with pushing and shoving and you can see also that the shops were empty, hardly any people to spend big money on things they don't need and uh, we got to look at the, the um, lake area just a little bit. then for those of us that don't know where they're going, there's a sign telling me where to go, turn left to go to the Sky Cab. It's the central hub, or the amusement area that people gather in. Just near that is the Sky Cab. The Sky Cab and the ride to the top, you pay a fee to get in obviously and uh, non-Malaysians pay full fare and this sign tells, tells us of a promo that was just expired for the locals, but even so the locals pay less than us. This sign talks about the different attractions in the amusement area, including the Sky Bridge that has a closing time. So we then caught the vernicular or funicular up to the top of the mountain. And this was actually one of the better funiculars I've ridden in over the years. Nice and comfortable and quiet. I was really impressed by the condition of the, the vehicles and the equipment and you can see by this even the grounds and amenities are really clean and tidy and well maintained. We're nearing the halfway mark up to the top of the mountain. We're riding on the Sky Cab and you can see Talaga Harbour down the bottom there and just to the left, second catamaran out, is our boat. was having such a good time looking around that I didn't notice the dark clouds coming in from the southwest.
my beautiful wife wearing her mask and keeping her social distancing, especially from me. Well, we've just left the middle station and we're heading to the other ones and then the skywalk. As usual, I don't know what I've done with my video whilst we're up on the top of this. You'd think after paying a full fare to get into the place, you wouldn't have to pay for a, another 10 ringgit to go across to Skybridge. Well, it's Thursday the 30th of July, it's nearly 11am, although it's a little bit dark, it's, there's no fog and we're up the top of the skywalk above Talaga Harbour, and our yacht, or our yachts are down in Talaga Harbour as you can see, way down there. brings us up from down the bottom of the hill mountain that's the middle station and the upper stations up there we had to walk down the stairs we didn't catch the 10 ringgit tram and that's the 10 ringgit tram walk the skywalk. That's the northern end of the island. And because of the smog of the day, it's hard to, to tell where the sky begins and the sea finishes. Because it's low tide, you can see the sandbar out there, and I never even knew there was the danger of the sandbar rounding that point. I'm glad I was further out in the, in the bad weather. Hidden in amongst all those trees is a hotel. I can't even see it from the, from the sea. Being on the boat for nearly 10 days straight, I feel a bit... Um, I still haven't found my land legs, still sea legs, whatever they call it. But I'm also now suffering from vertigo. This is a fantastic view. And of course, selfies. My wife loves selfies. I don't mind taking them. I just don't like being in them. Here she is, cute as they come, looking down through a glass floor to the ground below. And we're in the middle of the bridge or skywalk with the um, stanchions holding it up in place. And just imagine with a thousand people walking across it, I'd feel vulnerable, really vulnerable. Everywhere you go these days, you have to put a love heart lock on, on the fence, pay for it, of course. Here's a lonely monkey, he obviously didn't put his love heart lock on the fence. And we're down the bottom looking at the um, inevitable trinket shop. 
just as we walked out of the Sky Cab area and through the central hub off to the east is the lake area and out to the, the old car park over that bridge is the old car park and further down there's a rickety old wobbly bridge, bridge that is fun to walk across before you go into the car park to leave the old car park I mean One of the other attractions is called the Sky Dome and as you walk through the hub area towards it you get a good look at a very nice looking outer part of the building. On the inside it's not so great, it's old. 3D film technology. time to go home and on the way out we had another bit of a look then we walked back down two and a half kilometers to the beach and um, it was low tide so we had to be careful going down the stairs they were definitely not user-friendly stairs this is when I realized that we'd only just made it back before a storm a rain storm was about to hit us and we were able to get back on the boat without getting wet through and that was good. Well we travelled down from the Sky Cable Car, Sky Walkway and now you can't even see it because the thunderstorm and rain has set in. It's drizzling a little bit, the wind has come up People are all getting their boats ready for a, not a storm, but some, some rain, heavy rain. And the video was produced by myself, of course. And it's the end of another exciting video of the Langkawi Sky Cab Amusement Park, July 2020.